Welcome to the Dotto Spear Touch Training Video. This video will guide you on the first steps with your Dotto Spear Touch Spirometer. Before turning on the device, we will plug all the accessories. First of all, we will connect the external power supply. Then, we will connect the transducer cable, located on the left side. In this video we are using a turbine transducer. Position the connector and twist the two screws to lock it. This device also allows to measure by a pressure pneumotachometer, or a single-use Lily transducer. Please connect the USB cable on the back panel, this will link it to the PC software. The other inputs are focused to connect the optional modules such as pulse oximetry or maximum pressures. We will see the icons to help us in the connection. When everything is connected, turn on the spirometer by pressing during one second the on-off button located on the right side. After the logo, we will be able to see all the main menu icons. At the top we have a toolbar that shows the atmospheric data values. In the top central part we can choose the operating mode so the functionality is being modified to fit our needs. Each mode includes an adapted profile with some options and features activated. Now we have enabled the diagnostic mode, which is mainly used in hospitals, but there is the AP for primary care and the OC for occupational health. The following icon will allow us to open the help menu. If we press the light bulb, we can modify the brightness of the screen using the arrows left and right. The engine is a shortcut to the main configuration options, you can see the calibration, customization, and maintenance options. Next, we can adjust the date and time of the equipment by this option. And finally, on the right side we will see a power plug or a battery icon depending on what we have connected. Before the first spirometry test we recommend to configure some general parameters. The predicted values, the spirometric parameters of each test and other settings such as interpretation, printing graphics, or incentives. Click on the configuration icon on the left side of the screen, and now click on the customization options. The menu will show different options, but we will focus on the right side, selecting the lungs icon. It will allow us to customize the reference values, parameters, incentive, etc. Click on the icon to select the predicted values for adults and children. At the bottom we can select the ethnic factor or race. We can see the list of the most important worldwide by using the scroll bar. Let's see the list of spirometry parameters. We can enable or disable all the parameters we want to see in the display and print out. At the bottom, there is a filter to see the parameters by type of test, FVC, VC, or MVV. To start a forced spirometry test we will press the FVC icon. We will click on the ID field to fill out the patient's data. Now, a QWERTY keyboard will come up and we will introduce the patient data one by one. The name, the surname, the age, the height, the weight. ethnic factor. This data is very important because it will be compared with normal values. Once everything is correct, we can accept. Now we are in the spirometry test and we will start the maneuver once the transducer and the patient will be ready. We will use a bacterial filter on the transducer to avoid any cross-contamination. Open the plastic bag leaving the oval outlet inside. Connect the filter to the transducer like this. Now we can remove the bag. 
the spirometer is ready for the first maneuver. It is possible to breath normally two or three times before he inspires slowly, then the patient must exhale all the air from his lungs as fast as possible, abruptly and for a minimum of six seconds, whenever is possible. After the exhalation we will inhale quickly to finish the maneuver. Next, the curve is positioned at the zero point and the most important parameters are presented on the right. Clicking on the center of the graph will toggle the graphics between the flow volume, volume time, or incentive for children. Let's perform a second maneuver. We can exhale directly on the transducer without the tidal volume. Let's perform the third maneuver. A flashing arrow shows that the maneuver is in progress. We will click on this cancel icon whenever we need to stop the maneuver. At the end of the maneuver, some warnings such as X or FT may appear whether the quality criteria are not being met. Either because the patient has not started abruptly enough or because he did not finish the test correctly. The maneuvers will be positioned according to the ATS and ERS criteria. The test with the least warnings is considered the best maneuver, and is ordered according to the sum of the FBC and FEV1 parameters. When the FBC and or FEV1 labels are flashing, it means that we meet the repeatability criteria. Therefore, the two best values of FBC, and the two best of FEV1, are not much different. The maneuvers performed are ordered from best, M1, to worst, M8, in different colors, green for those that are acceptable and repetitive, and from yellow to red for those of lower quality. The current maneuver will be shown in white color. The quality degree of our spirometry session will be showed in the upper left. The grades A, B and C indicate a good and reliable spirometry session. If we click on the right area, we will be able to see the complete parameter list of the three best maneuvers. If we want to see the parameters of the other maneuvers, then we can click on the number we want. This list will show the patient's parameters, his reference value, the lower limit of normal, LLN, and the Z-score. The Z-score represents how many standard deviations the patient's measurement is with respect to the population value, so the Z-score minus 2 could be used to determine pathological patients. By pressing this icon, the different automatic diagnostics will be presented, for example the ATS, or the Miller's Quadrant, etc. We are going to save the test in the database and also in the pre-icon to save for a dilation test. Click on the post icon to start the dilation test. Then, we will search and select the FBC test, accepting by the green icon. The patient should be ready after the medication. Now we will choose the basal test from the three best saved. We can modify this selection later on. The curve will be presented on the display and we are going to prepare the transducer. Remove the filter from the plastic bag carefully and put it in the transducer this way. We start the first maneuver blowing directly in the transducer, without the tidal volume. The display shows the flow volume curve, the graphic incentive for children and the FVC and FEV1 of the different maneuvers. The spirometer includes also a volume and a time bar if we need an adult incentives. Clicking in the graph we will toggle on the different viewing options, volume time graphics, etc. Let's perform a second test. Exhale fast and long until you cannot breath more. Then inspire quick. Finally, we will perform the third maneuver.
the spirometer will position the best maneuver on the top, the same thing we saw previously. Click on the parameters window, on the right, to open the full parameter list. We will be able to see also the comparison between the pre and the post, the lower limit of normal and the Z score as well. This window allows to see the automatic diagnosis, print the report by the internal printer and save the test in the internal database. We save the test. Now we will print out a sample of the test. The report can be customized including the information of our medical center, larger graphics, etc.